Hey, what's going on, everybody? Tony here from HowToBuyAndSellYourCars.com. Thanks for tuning in. It's been a while. Uh, I've been having connection issues. I'm here out in Japan, and um, I wanted to do this on the 20th, 10 days ago, uh, for all the new VIP members at HowToBuyAndSellYourCars.com. We did a sale a few weeks ago, and um, I said that I would be doing a special video intro for you guys and I'm doing that right now if you're not on I'm sorry about that I'll be sending you guys the replay so you can get um, I get started let me know if you all hear me okay if the video is coming in good if the audio is coming in good give me some feedback also let me know how many times you've been on a call live uh, we where you're from okay hopefully the internet good we don't have any issues. Times just hang in with us, hang in there, and let's know. <clears throat> hang in, guys. Hang in, guys. Okay, I am going to try to relocate to a, a different section. I remember I had better video. I remember I had better video in this section here. Um, okay, give me some feedback and let me know if, it's, if we're coming in a little bit better right now. Uh, quick feedback, there is a slight delay in the um, audio and video on my side, so it's kind of tough for me to tell, but again, thank you all for being on. Uh, it's great to see all of you who haven't been on for a long time, a long time. Okay, hopefully it's better. Great. I know the video is coming in a little blurry on my side, but... How many new VIP members on the call? What's up, Kevin, Kelvin, Sasha, Kingdom Child, B. Lou? I bid to win. What's up? How many VIPs in the house? Lucky, Tony, thanks for your channel. I've been able to make bigger profits flipping. Thank you. Awesome, Lucky. Well, you should thank yourself because you took action on the advice that I gave you, right? So that's all on you. Uh, how many new VIP members? How many of you have invested in the VIP program recently? Like I'm saying within the past two weeks. Within the past two weeks. Anybody on? Because I know we had a group of people join and I was supposed to get on on the 20th uh, to give you guys a quick intro. But again, I was having connectivity issues. I was traveling. You know, it was just hard to do it at the specific time zone. Uh, right now it's 10 o'clock in the morning here in Asia. You could see, and I know it's 8 p.m. by you, right? So this is where I'm at. Uh, nah, I'm old. International investor. I'm new. VIP Las Vegas. Kelvin, I'm in both VIP courses. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, so why did I name... So how many of you in here... How many of you in here are actually making profits flipping cars for profit? How many of you in here are actually making money? Now, you could make money by making a profit or even cutting people down in pricing. That's making money as well. So if you're negotiating <coughs> like I bid to win here and you talked somebody from 1000 down to 450, you basically just made 650. No. 550. <clears throat> right? Uh, driving in Dallas as I listed, as I listed, watch live. I'm new, did three days. I have not been on in about two weeks any new content on both. Okay. Just started flipping. I have access to auctions. Great. Auctions are a good place. Uh, but a lot of people I speak to, a lot of people I speak to, I was in Hawaii a few weeks ago, 
And um, I should have done some videos there, but I was so busy running around. I was only there for two weeks. It was just crazy. Um, but even I met up with some old friends and I'm like, do you go to the auctions? Like, hell no, I don't go to the auctions. Uh, a dealer friend of mine closed down. He had a dealer, uh, a little car lot, dealer car lot. He closed down because business has just been getting slow. Now he's working as a car salesman. You know, so it's it's a rough time right now for a lot of people. That's why I say stay in the private party market. Don't go crazy getting your dealer's license if you don't, you know, if you don't have to. I mean, you really don't have to. Don't go crazy, you know, investing in a car lot. A lot of people think, oh, they got to get a dealer license. They got to get this. They got to get that. They invest 50, 75 grand and they haven't made a dime, right? Yeah, so for all of you on here, give me a quick thumbs up. Uh, just to say what's up and I know you're getting the feedback here and for all the people giving me a thumbs down get out There's no reason for you to be here. All right <laughs> That's just the haters on the call right now So if you're hating go make the go create your own channel and see uh, See if you can come out with some better content uh, Chum nation I have 1500 where should I look for a car chum I recommend you to start with Craigslist Craigslist, okay? Yeah, so here he is. Ivan is right here. Ivan, are you giving us the bird or the haters the bird? Oh, God, people are funny. Hold on one second. Let me see if I can get these links. So for the people who want to get started who are brand new, I really highly recommend you to go here, download the free report. I have a free report. So he's saying offer up and let go good options lately. Cool. Currently listing a Benz C230 for 3,800, 124,000 miles. That's pretty good uh, mileage. Not too bad mileage. Thank you, international investor. Love you all too. Um, go there for all the newbies on watching and download the free guide. And I also have a special offer for you to get the F1 playbook. How many of you F1 playbook investors in here? Okay, so going back to the title of this, because we don't have a lot of uh, recent VIP members on, probably the timing just didn't work out. Because I really wanted to answer their questions. Um... Well, if you want to learn more about that south side, just go here, download the report, and there's a special offer that I hook you up with where you can get the complete guide. Any F1 playbook owners in here that can kind of give south side a idea of what's in F1 and F1 VIP, the video course, if any of you guys have that, um, you, maybe you could give them an idea of what that's all about. <clears throat> so here is the big problem, okay? There's a big problem. Uh, a lot of people, right, they want to get started flipping cars for profit. And what stops them is their attitude and their mind, okay? They feel that just because they were online searching for two days and they didn't find any deals, that there's no deals. They come to the conclusion that the game is over and there's no deals. And that's not the way to play the game. Right? How many of you guys in here would agree? Just because you don't find a deal for two days, you can't come to a conclusion saying that there's no deals, there's no money to be made. Because if you played it that way, you're not going to win at anything. Okay? You are not going to win at anything. You have to be consistent and persistent to win at any of this in business in general. Okay? So you have to be on it. You have to treat it like a business, not like a hobby. If you want to make a couple grand a month, treat it as a business where you go on every day and you're searching for deals every day. Okay? At least put in an hour a day. That's only seven hours a week. An hour a day learning the market, seeing what cars are out there. And then everything just becomes easier and easier. And then it becomes so easy, your grandmother can do it. It really is. I mean, not too long ago, when I was in Hawaii, I met up with a couple of dealer friends, and one of his mothers is 65 years old, 
and she is flipping cars on the side. She actually owns a, a little restaurant. Okay. Yeah. Maya's here. She owns a little restaurant on her side time. She's a Korean lady. On the side part time, she actually had four cars that she showed me at her house that, that was for sale. Korean 65-year-old Korean lady flipping cars for profit on the side. No joke. Okay, of her restaurant, of her Korean barbecue business. Okay, she had a Mercedes Benz, she had a BMW, and these are high end $10,000 plus cars. And she told me, hands down, she makes close to $10,000 a month flipping cars for profit. All right, so for everybody out here telling me there's no deals, there's no money to be made. We have a 65-year-old retired lady. I mean, she could be retired. She's not retired, but she could be retired. Flipping cars, making money, and English is her second language. So I don't know what kind of excuses you guys are coming up with, but you need to, to look at the big picture here. There's a lot of opportunity for everybody, okay? And that's kind of the reason why I named it so easy your grandmother can do it, because it really is if you put in the time. You know, and I asked her how long she's been doing this. She said she just started five years ago. She started playing around with it five years ago because she was bored. So there you go. Kingdom Child selling a Toyota 93 MR2 for 3,800, 152,000 miles. Those are valuable little cars. People like those little MR2s. Not bad, uh, not bad mileage either. So Arlington, Texas. What's going on, Lucky? So, you know, I, I just wanted to get that off my chest. You know, I mean, a lot of people make so much excuses up, Tony, this is that, 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 that. And I'm like, dude, get over yourself, man. Opportunity is abundant all over the place. And the cool thing about this is you don't have to go all in. You could do it part time, make a few grand a month save up for a few years, then you'll have maybe a hundred grand on the side saved up that you could invest in a piece of real estate, invest in another business, buy some stocks, do what you could make. The deal, the whole idea is to make money and have that money make more money for you. That's the whole game of investing. So that's what holds me back from flipping cars and making money. So don't let it hold you back. Our Mazda's good car, any Asian car is a good car to flip. I love flipping Asian cars, Hondas, Toyotas, Nissan, Mazda, Subaru, Kia, uh, Hyundai. All right, all these cars are great cars to flip. Um, and again, it depends on your market. I always say this. Sometimes in your area, you're going to notice Ford trucks are a hot thing. Then you're going to want to go after trucks. Okay, it doesn't have to be Ford trucks, but if Ford trucks are hot, then try to get them. They might be priced at a little higher but you know if you can get a old ford truck from a retired guy who just wants to get rid of it he doesn't know the market a lot of people out there don't know the market they think their truck is worth two grand when it's really worth four and that's where you go you scoop it you make it look nicer you detail it uh write a nice ad take some beautiful pictures put a video up and get it going and then you make and then you make your profit. So, um, if you want to learn, if you guys want to know more about the step-by-step -step video course that I have, people are asking about VIP. It's 197. You get the complete F1 playbook, which is 150 pages of step-by-step -step everything I know. I've been flipping cars since I was literally 15 years old. Um, 20 years now. I'm gonna be 35 in July, guys. I'm getting old. Um, you get you also get the eight week video training course where you look over my shoulder. You guys are gonna go with me finding deals, how I look in the blue book, how I gauge prices. You're gonna be online with me, you're gonna be negotiating with customers with me. All everything's recorded. You get access to all of that. So check out that if you're interested. Should I use Nada or Kelly Blue Book? And I always say to everybody all the time. You want to use the Kelly Blue Book because that's what your buyers are looking at. 
So you want to see what they're looking at so you can give them better price. You can say, hey, look, retail Kelly Blue Book is 8,500, but I'm only asking 7,800 OBO. And then boom, you get 75, you sell it, you keep three grand profit, whatever the deal is, right? So that's why I always say you want to look at the Kelly Blue Book, and that's why I train you. I train my mentees using the Kelly Blue Book. Okay. Uh, what do I think about using Odessa? It's up to you. I say lower the volume on that. I say well, if you are already a VIP member, then you got the course. Go through the program and apply what what I'm teaching you, Kelvin. Go through the program. And you also have access to three critiques personally from me, Kelvin. Did you know that? After going through the course or while going through the course, while you're flipping and selling cars, you have three personal critiques. So send me a photo of your, a link to your ad online, and I will personally review it, critique and tweak your ad to make it better, to make it pop out, and, and basically sell the car. I've helped many VIP guys this way by saying, Tony, I wasn't able to sell a car for three, four weeks. I told them what tweaks to make. They made the tweak, boom, within a week the car is sold. All right, so a lot has to do with your ad and how you position your car. So, so that's that. Um, again, get the physical Kelly Blue Book. So that's, that's just what I'm telling everybody. Get the physical Kelly Blue Book. My daughter's messing around. You see what she's doing. She's on YouTube Live as well. Did you give me a like? Yeah, you did. You did. She's funny. She is so funny. Um, so if you are a total beginner, if you are a total beginner, start in the private party market. Don't go to auctions because if you don't if you don't know how to buy and sell, you're going to be wasting your time at the auctions. A lot of people, a lot of newbies, they're flooding the auctions nowadays. If, if you go to auctions, you'll see this. How many of you go to auctions now and you see this happening? Right? There's a bunch of newbies. They don't know what the hell's going on. They're walking around with their tongues hanging out. Okay? And they're driving all the bid prices up on cars. Cars that are supposed to be going for three, four grand, they're going for six, seven thousand dollars. And there's no profit to be made. And this is it's been going on for years. That's why I hardly go to auctions anymore. Unless you're gonna be going to a salvage yard, salvage auction, and you're getting a really good deal. Um yeah, you could bid online. I used to bid online all the time. But I'm telling you guys, word of mouth and just getting out there, telling your friends and family that you buy and sell cars, okay? Just getting the word out. You got to start telling everybody you know, I buy and sell cars. I find good deals. I have good cars, even if you don't have any, right? Just say, just say that's what you do. Say you're interested. If you know anybody selling a car, they have to leave. They're leaving. They're leaving the states or this or that. This is where you get the insider deals. You have to build your network. Okay, then you buy. If you get me a deal, I'll give you a hundred bucks or I'll give you two hundred bucks. Right? That's how you do it. So you'll have deals coming to you, and then you just spruce up and sell. You'll never have. You'll never be low on inventory. Craigslist is a great way to buy as well because you have tons, hundreds of people who've never listed a car on Craigslist list a car every single day, okay? And you got seniors on there. You got people who have no idea what their car is worth. Sometimes they're priced way overvalued because they love their car. It's their car. They've had it for 10 years. They babied it. They think it's worth 10 grand, but it's really only worth seven or six. Okay, those people, you just leave the prices there. You'll, you'll start to see the prices go down after a couple of weeks or after a couple of months because nobody's buying it. And then you'll get people who drastically list their prices, their cars lower than market value because they don't know what they have. You know, you might have an older person listing valued Mazda RX-7 that they have no idea of what it's worth. Some people are out there like that, okay? Uh, but I would say 90% of the Mazda RX-7 owners know what they have. But you will get those 
that fall through their cracks, that don't know what they have. They list it up just because you're on every day. You're the first one that spot the deal. You're the first one who went out there, who secured the deal, who paid cash, who got it, right? Guys, the early bird takes the worm. Listen to what I'm saying. It may sound like basic ABC stuff, but this is really, this is proven and tested stuff. You got to be the first one, strike the deal, buy it, and that's where your money's made. You know, and you just be, you know, once you buy a deal, money's in the bank, money's in your pocket. It's just a matter of time of you sprucing it quickly, relisting it, and then selling it. Tony, check out my ad. Okay, international investor, open a support ticket, please, and send me the link. Okay, that's the best way to get it to me. You can't send links through this chat here. It's not going to work. Tony, have you ever seen better results with specialty enthusiast cars or typical? I would say both, Roger. Um, if you're out there, if you're looking for deals, if you're getting specialty cars, then get them. Um, I bought and sold many Mazda Miatas. People love them. RX-7s I've bought and sold. Um, so yes, there is a lot of money in specialty cars as well. Uh, even if you get into classics and collectibles, it's a big market, classics and collectibles. But you need to be able to repair the cars, restore the cars, or have a connection to do that to put your to put added value so you can make your profit. Okay? Um, so how many of you guys are liking the content so far? Give me a quick thumbs up if you're liking the content so far. Um, should you insure your car after you purchase it? <clears throat> Konnichiwa. Well, if you're only going to have the car for a few days or for a week, you don't have to insure, insure it because it's basically trading over and over and it's just a pain in the butt. You know, if you're just showing the car at a local shopping center a mile away, I take the chance. Um, I've never had an issue because if I ever got pulled over, I would have just said, hey, I just bought the car. I got to get it insured. You know, so that's cool. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, hit the thumbs up on the uh, on the video on, on the YouTube live or on YouTube. That helps as well. Thank you guys for giving me the thumbs up. You guys are awesome. You guys rock. Um, what should I do if in my state you get your title in 90 days? Mohammed, what state are you in? Mohammed, what state are you in? That's a long time. Most I've heard was like 45 days, six weeks. So I bid to win says most insurance will cover a car purchase up to three days after purchase before you add onto your policy. I know with Geico, it's 30 days. 30 days you have. And I think farmers is like two is like fourteen days. So you're pretty much covered if you flip the car within a week or two. Uh, but again, check with your local insurance company or with your current insurance company. Connecticut. So that's crazy. Well, I would basically try to get the car um, <coughs> with the title signed and not get it into your name. All right, you could try that. It's a tactic. Uh, I'm not saying to do it. Again, this gets into the gray legal area. I'm not an expert. I'm not an attorney. I'm not giving you legal advice here. But what people do, okay, is basically get the title and not have their name in it and just resell it. Okay, so there's a way of doing that. And I do give you a story, an example of how that's done in my F1 course and formula. Okay, again, I have to protect my butt here. I can't just say, yeah, you could do that. You could do this. You could do that. Again, every, I'm not an expert here, guys. Okay, you may want to check with your local attorney and uh, DMV. But again, I give you a bunch of different scenarios in the program uh, that's worked uh, for a lot of people. So I live in Vegas and buy cars in Arizona. They give you the title instantly. Nevada takes 30 days. Uh, well, I know in California and Hawaii, you get the title instantly as well. Same day. You could get the car, register it in your name, have a brand new blank title that you can resell later that day or a few days later. Okay. And a lot of people say, hey, Tony, what do you tell people, you know, what do you tell people 
if they see that you got the car registered like a week ago and you're reselling it. Well, I usually say my girlfriend didn't like the car or I bought it for my girlfriend as a gift. She didn't like the car. I mean, what's the big deal? Whatever your story is, maybe you bought it for your mom or for your brother. Your brother decided he wanted a Jeep instead, right? Whatever your story is, that's your story, right? I don't know what your story is. <clears throat> How do you drive it with no tags if you jump the title? Well, <clears throat> again, some states the tags are stuck on the car, the plates are on the car. Some states the people take uh, the license plate. All right. I would try to negotiate to keep the license plate on and then tell them that you're going to turn it in or you're going to, you know, use their plate. There's many different ways to do it. But if you're just driving the car home and you got no plates, I think it's perfectly fine because you just bought the car. Drive it home. And when you're selling it, when you're flipping it, meet somebody very close from your house or for wherever you are around the corner or something. If you don't want them to come to your house, meet them close where you could show the car. That's all. Not a big deal. A lot of people make little issues a big issue. Okay, It's not a big issue. You're not doing anything illegal here. You're just selling a car. Okay. All right. So, Tony, please help me. What do I do after sell Max Limit Allow in Texas? I think it's five or six. Do I float ties? Put them on their friends' names. I don't know. Please guide me, my friend. Diablo, are you a F1 VIP member? Because I talk about that strategically in the VIP course as well. <clears throat> you may want to look into that right here. Um, I bought a Hyundai Elantra and the transmission blew. What can I do to get some money back? Again, what year is the Hyundai? You need to be a little bit more detailed um, because if it's if it's a, a recent model, a newer model, you can probably just get it replaced and still make your money back. Um, yeah, you don't want to go junking a car. All right, guys, it's 1030. I got to head out. Um, I've been on here for 30 minutes. Kelvin, I would basically email support. Okay, email support. Email support. Open up a ticket and say you lost your username and password, and they will send you login information. Um, Kelvin, are you a member of the new membership site? Um, I would check your emails for order notifications because when you registered, we sent you an email with your login information. So recheck your your uh, your email for F1 formula login information. Yeah, situation money. I will be working on that this week. I'm actually headed back to Texas next week. So I will be working on the bonus information there on the tube cash program. Thank you for reminding me. Um, I've been very, very busy uh, with all of my businesses. I have multiple businesses online. And you guys know that I am a serial entrepreneur here. So, and also things are going well. I'm actually going to be doing my first live Events. I'm putting on my own event with a partner uh, in Dallas, uh, teaching people how to basically create and blow up an internet business. We're going to be doing live seminars in Dallas uh, this summer, and it's going to be amazing. I was also invited, this is off topic, to YouTube Space Tokyo last week. So I was at the YouTube headquarters in Tokyo last week. I have pictures. Um, on my phone and I have video. We shot a bunch of videos at YouTube Space. It was amazing. They even gave me an awesome YouTube Space shirt. Uh, pretty cool stuff. Oceanfront property in Arizona. I'm actually looking at a million dollar property right now in Hawaii. I'm um, looking to see if I can close that deal. Um, but the property that I really want is 1.5 million. Uh, it's a little steep at this point for me. Uh, but the other piece I can get, but it does not have an ocean front, an ocean view. <laughs> uh, yes, my course is available for Android. It's all mobile optimized. So check out the F1 course right here. 
Um, it is somebody said here it's worth 10 times, 20 times their investment. You'll get it back within the first day if you apply some of the strategies. All right, guys, I want to say thanks for getting on. I will be back doing these weekly. Um, if I miss a day, um, look out. It may be these are scheduled to go live Tuesday, 8 p.m. Central, every Tuesday, 8 p.m. Central. If I do miss a Tuesday, um, I may change it to a Wednesday or reverse to a Monday. Okay. But I do want to get back on these again. I've been getting emails from a lot of people saying, Tony, what happened? I haven't seen you in weeks. Welcome to the YouTube lives. You're not doing them anymore. Um, and people are kind of uh, sad, sad that I'm not doing them anymore. So I am doing them. I will be back every week. Um, stay tuned. And we will, uh, we will advance with everything that we're doing here. And I want to continue to support you, continue, continue to guide you. Um, toward having the proper mindset and the knowledge to get more out of life. Okay. It's Tony. Thanks for joining and, um, give me a quick like and I'll see you on next week. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Thanks guys for getting on. Really appreciate it. Here's the link to the F1 once again, if you're interested in that. And, um, also here's the link to the free guide. If you're looking to get a free guide uh, for flipping cars to profit and just get a quick um, intro on that. And again, I do, I do, am I a millionaire? Well, I've made, I've made millions of dollars online. Yes. So if you call, if you want to call that a millionaire, then you can. So I'll see you guys again. Have a great day. Have a great night. Ciao. Maya, say bye. Peace, guys. Thanks for getting on. Cheers.